It's hard not to love Kylie Ray. You say she has a screw loose Brad Gilmore. I just think this is a woman that's doing what she's always dreamed of doing, what she loves, and that's to compete inside that squared circle. This is for the Diamonds Division Championship. Shaw Guerrero, you said you were on a scouting trip here tonight. We'll feast your eyes on two of the top athletes in the Diamonds Division. No, I'm definitely looking forward to this contest, to this competition, to seeing these two ladies duke it out. Like you said, they this is not the first time that they've tangoed in the ring, if you will. And, you know, I Kylie might not be my taste because I don't think anybody can be that happy. I don't think anybody can smile that much. I don't know how her face doesn't hurt. However, Hyun is an up-and-comer. I love new blood. You got to give opportunity. And if when you're associated with a Guerrero, you're associated with gold, you're associated with respect. And let's be honest, you guys, success is all about who you know. Well, there you have it, Brad Gilmore. You know, we're very familiar with the story of Kylie Ray. She walked into the reality of wrestling, and on her first night, in her debut, she defeated the Black Diamond Ivory Robin to capture the reality of wrestling Diamonds Division Championship. Her career was never the same after that. Ha Young has an opportunity for this four-year journey to culminate with her capturing that championship here tonight. Both are worthy competitors. Your prediction in this one. We well, you know, Matt Topolsky, we can talk about the accolades of Kylie Ray, her being the most decorated female athlete in reality of wrestling history, and Hai Yun, she's been, a, it's that brass ring, she's been trying to grab it, but it's been elusive to her. Uh, I got a chance to talk to both of these women in the back. I asked Kylie Ray, you know, uh, no Pikachu tonight. She says that she's evolved in her career in reality wrestling, and she has evolved into a Charmander, if what, you will, and she's gonna, she's gonna bring the heat. She's gonna bring the heat. What is a Charmander? It's a Pokemon. What's a Pokemon? You never played Pokemon? No, you know, the I Game Boy. <laughs> She's not a gamer, Brad Gilmore. Awkward. Well, you won't be tuning into the Reality Wrestling Twitch channel whenever that launches, but back in the ring, hi. Well, <laughs> well, speaking of reality of wrestling, social media also, let's not bury the lead here, too. It leaked out on social media in Reality of Wrestling earlier this week. Kylie Ray was seen at the WWE Performance Center, so there are a lot of um, questions about what the future holds for Kylie Ray as well. Right, you are Matt Topolsky, and she's going to be taking that pilgrimage over to Japan here in the next couple of months as well. Opportunities have been oh, flying Head scissors, for takeover right there! Kylie Ray, the Diamonds Division oh. champion, connects! Seeing that aggressive side of Kylie Ray, I like you. And there's a smile. so much about Hyun. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hyun grabbing the referee. Didn't mean to cut you off there, Shaw, but no. she she doesn't want Kylie Ray for that high impact maneuver. Come on, oh! Almost well, smart minx. Well, forgive me if I may, a little bit of lie, cheat, and steal. For the Diamonds Division Championship kick out at one. A little bit of lie, cheat, and steal right there, huh? It's called taking advantage of your opportunities and what is there in front of you. That's all I'm gonna say. Cheat's such an ugly word. Ayan oh, oh, suplex wow. with a bridge here to win the Diamond Division Championship. A kick out at two from Kylie Ray. Ayan is so hungry for this. She works full time. She travels long distances to get here and to train. She deserves this championship. Kylie Ray's been an amazing champion, but I can't not, I can't, Get behind Hyun enough. Oh. Hyun, in many respects, the underdog in this matchup, Ooh. at least on paper, but right now she is firmly in control. You know, don't let Kylie Ray's personality fool you either. You know, she is all smiles, Shaw, but. She's also very fierce. She can be ruthless inside the squared circle. She's not a three-time Diamonds Division champion at the reality of wrestling by accident. Right, you are Matt Topolsky, but Hai Yun here is, looks like she's, oh, taking full advantage of the rules, if not, you know, maybe slightly bending them just a bit to try to get that advantage on Kylie Ray. And you know what? It's something that you're going to have to do if you're high on. Because high, Kylie Ray, anybody who's come through the doors of the World Gym Arena, she's taken the task and beaten them all. Beautiful hold put on by high on right here. Digging the knee into the back of Kylie Ray, keeping a firm hold on that face. 
wiping the smile off it, if you will. Hi Young out of the gate here. Has pretty much been in control of this matchup. Oh! Those kicks from Kylie Ray are really where Hyun needs to watch it. Kylie Ray is fast, she's quick, and those legs are her bread and butter. Ooh. Kylie Ray switching it into another gear right now. With the Diamonds Championship hanging in the balance, Kylie Ray rolls through. Look oh. out, we've seen this before. Swing and a miss. High Young there ducks you under. Cover here, oh my goodness, and a kick out at the last second. Haya knows her opponent. She has studied her. She knows Kylie Ray's tricks. Well, these two are definitely no stranger to each other, but right you are, Shaw. Hai Young definitely learning from previous experiences in the ring with Kylie Ray. Oh, look at that interesting oh, innovative maneuver again. there. This oh. time she connects to the kick, temple. Kick to the side of the head. To that might be all. successfully defend the championship at Ladies Night Out. Oh Whoa. my goodness, another near Whoa. fall. Wow. And the match continues. Kylie Ray cannot believe it. That super kick to the side of the head has knocked down many a contender for her Diamonds Division Championship. Hey, main event, big fight feel here at the World Gym Arena, live on the Title Match Wrestling Network. Hyun's gotta stay on top of her right here. She's gotta get that advantage and stay on her. Hyun hooks the leg to win the championship. Another kick out from Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray holding on to that right shoulder, wincing in pain. Hai Young might have done some damage there, maybe tore a couple ligaments in there. You never know. This isn't a ballet. Hai Young looking here. Oh! oh! To tear that arm out of the socket. And look at her. She's real proud of herself. Well, she should be. If you're going to defeat the champion, that's one way to do it. Hooks the leg. And Kylie Ray has to kick out with that bad shoulder. The champion with one bad wing right now, Shaw Guerrero. Well, we see, you know, if it were me, I would probably be going for the legs of Kylie Ray, but Hyun is being really smart. Kylie likes to hook where you least expect it, and she gets her, she gets Hyun in these roll-ups, and this is a very smart maneuver. Kylie Ray also has become a, a, an expert, a subject matter expert, if you will, Brad Gilmore. That cross face, which she has used to win the Diamonds Championship on several occasions. Yeah, and if you tear out that shoulder, it's going to be massively difficult for her to lock that in. Hooks the leg here, in. hooks the leg, kick out at one. To its full effectiveness. So Hyun, another one, she comes in with a game plan here tonight on how to defeat the woman who up until now has been undefeatable. And this is a game plan. Oh! Oh, and wrenching back on that arm is the challenger here. Your arm should not bend that way. This may be over right here. Kylie Ray is a significant distance away from that bottom rope. Hyun's got to keep her planted right there. If anything, try and get her more in the center of the ring. That way there's no escape for Kylie. Oh, Kylie oh. roll up here. Kylie with a reversal. Kick out at two, but Kylie Ray is in a bad way right now. One good arm. Hai Young slapping that knee. It looks like she might go for that running knee. Oh, and she gets it. Oh, Hai Young taking advantage of the high ground here. That Cover. might be all. That we could have all. a new Diamonds champion crowned oh. at Ladies Night Out. Muscle oh. memory. Kick out there from Kylie Ray, digging down deep. Grit, heart, and determination, what she needs to tap into right now. If she's got a second win, now is the moment because Hai Young is over the target zone, Brad Gilmore. Hey, right, you are Matt Topolsky. She feels it. She's like a she's like a shark smelling the blood in the water, and she could just be mere moments away from capturing her first Diamonds Division Championship. She's so close. She can taste it. You see it in the aggression of every strike, of every roll-up. Kylie Ray looks like she is out cold on that top rope. High Young hooking her for what looks like a superplex. Oh, oh. looks like Kylie's. Trying to make it a no-go. Kylie's trying to reverse out of that. And now a couple of right hands to the back of Hai Young. Oh! oh, just shoved her down. Kylie Ray might be getting her second wind right here. Hai Young crashed right down on that tailbone. 
could not have felt good. Kylie Ray trying to dig into whatever she has left in the reserves from off that top oh. row. A missile drop kick from the champion. Both competitors are down. This is your main event live on the Title Match Wrestling Network for the Diamonds Division Championship. Both women are down, but if this, if they both get counted out, just remember Kylie Ray still has that championship advantage. The title will not change hands in a count out or a disqualification. And the referee's up to five, and now the one of these women have moved. They look like they are out cold, but starting to see a little bit of life from High Young. This is where it's a game changer. Who's gonna be on their feet first? Wait a minute, referee up to a count of nine. This might be it, and wait, wait. Oh, High Young got to her feet, and so did Kylie Ray. Both women back at a vertical base. Oh! You see how much this championship means to both women right here. Whatever problems I have with Kylie, she is fighting tooth and nail for this. Well, Kylie ain't all smiley right now. Matt Topolsky, correct me if I'm wrong, it almost looks like she's fighting out of a place of desperation Absolutely. as she tries to get that cross There it is, there's that cross can face. But in? can she get all of it with that injured arm? Can she hook it all? And end this matchup. Looks like she's fighting through the pain of that arm. She's still got it locked in. You've got to wonder if that cross face is locked in with the normal intensity that Kylie Ray uses because of that shoulder that has been injured by Hai Young. Hai Young struggling to get to that bottom rope. Can she break the hold and live to fight? She's getting close to those ropes. Can she get a hand on the ropes? She's got a scratch and claw for it, guys. Scratch and claw. Oh, oh, and by the fingertips, this match continues. Kylie Ray, though, arguing with the ref, didn't want to break the count, held it to a count of three, shaking her head, and she's trying to get it right back in. High Young rolls through. Oh. High Young oh. with a cross oh. face in her own center of the High ring. High Young got the cross face. A reversal of fortunes and history could be made. This could be all. Is she going to tap, guys? I don't know. Kylie Ray thinking about it. She's in the center of the ring. There's nowhere to go, Matt. There's nowhere to go for Kylie Ray. The pain oh, on Kylie, Kylie Ray, Ray, that arm's gotta be torn on the side of the cover. Wait a minute, rolls up to retain the oh. championship. Oh my goodness. Wow. You've gotta be kidding me. Kylie Ray with another roll up. Roll there. up from the champion again, cover two. Holy cow. Wait oh. a minute. Oh, Kylie Ray went for that super kick. Reversal here from Hai Young. Oh, oh my goodness. That's got to be all about Topolsky. She's three seconds away. One, two, there's we a new Diamond champion. champion. Hai Young, the Diamond Division Champion. She won that title at Ladies Night Out 1. Barbie Hayden has a loss in her record here at Reality of Wrestling. And that is an 0-1 record, not a very good record going as a champion. Now let us start with this. Hai Young won that championship at the inaugural Ladies' Night Out, defeating Kylie Ray, who we just saw moments ago. But in your mind, in her first defense of that championship here at Ladies' Night Out, are there nerves, are there some jitters, despite the attitude, despite her presentation, does Hai Young have it all together to successfully defeat one of Texas professional wrestling's best female athletes in Barbie Hayden and successfully defend that title tonight, Brad? We know she did it against Kylie Ray, and we just saw Kylie Ray out here two times prior tonight. And she was a phenomenal athlete and a great professional wrestler, and Hai Young was able to capture that championship in the main event against someone the caliber of Kylie Ray. If she can do it there, she can do it here. She just has to remain focused and not let that bad attitude, if you will, get the best of her. We saw earlier, she she and Barbie Hayden wanted to tear each other apart, much like Hai Young did to that quote unquote participation trophy. Oh. And for those of you who joined us later in the broadcast, just to recap the story of Hai Young as well, right after this pin attempt here, and a kick out at two. Now there was a time where Hai Young was actually told to hit the road here at Reality of Wrestling, given a pink slip, if you will. Fired from the company, she thought her career was over. 
Now she's Diamond's di Diamond Division champion after defeating Kylie Ray. Well, a road to redemption for High Young, and she says and she claims she's done it without the Row Nation. She doesn't need anyone's help or support. Well, that's what she claims, Matt Topolsky, and so far she's proven it, but she got fired for, I think, the very same thing that's got her to the point she is. That's that bad attitude that we keep referencing. Booker T said, we don't need someone like you around here. We don't need any diamond in our division like you. But she went away, she practiced her craft, she got better, and she got another opportunity. And when she got that opportunity for Booker T again, she took advantage of it, and now she is the diamond, she is the one, she is the champion. She in the flagship of Texas wrestling, the reality of wrestling. My young shoots underneath, Barbie oh. Hayden. Ducks to the outside, a bit of gamesmanship here from the challenger. Barbie Hayden can't win that title on the outside. She gets back into the ring. The mind games continue. Well, this is what I was talking about. High Young can't get frustrated. She can't let, oh, oh. the veteran Barbie Hayden And let's state the obvious here, not bury the lead. High Young, of course, does have the champion's advantage. She could be counted out and she will hang on to that Diamonds Division Championship. And as we know now, Jordan Grace waiting in the wings oh. after being declared number one contender tonight. Meanwhile, Barbie Hayden getting a steady diet of steel post. Well, Barbie Hayden wants to get this thing back inside the ring and well, High Young puts it right there. Now, here we go, cover. One, two. Kick out from Barbie Hayden. We have seen it all here tonight. A tournament to crown a new number one contender. We have seen Eva Lise and Kiara Hogan battle all the way to the stage and beyond. Queen Charmel had to come out here and declare there will be a rematch between the two of them at Ladies Night Out 3 inside a steel cage. It's gonna take 15 feet of steel to keep those two women inside the ring. And now the Diamonds title up for grabs. Oh! oh! Bit of a body avalanche in the corner there from High Young. And now look at that, taking that knee pad down. As you often say, Brad Gilmore, she has some educated feet. Here we go. This is the mark right Roll there. Up. Roll up from the challenger. Kick out at one. Oh. High on. It's one thing to win the title, it's another to defend it. And there's a running knee. That flying knee right there. Cover to retain. Two. I talk a lot about when you win a championship, you get a new level of confidence. You get a championship confidence. But you have to be very careful that you don't let that championship confidence turn into championship cockiness. And if you get to that level, you might not be prepared for the challenge at hand. High Young right now, in my opinion, is toting that line between confidence and cockiness. And that comes as no surprise to anyone who's followed her career. That's been the story <laughs> the whole time. I mean, right if, High Young, if High Young is nothing else, Brad Gilmore, she's consistent. She is consistent. That is a good word for it. Oh! And right now, she's consistently running Barbie Hayden into turnbuckle after turnbuckle. Well, Barbie Hayden, and only her second appearance here in a reality of wrestling ring is being introduced up close and personal to every steel post and turnbuckle High Young can get her face into. Oh! It's like a family reunion with foreign objects. Cover here once again. One, hooks the leg to retain the Diamonds title. Barbie Hayden doesn't even slip out the back door. She just creaks it open and gets that arm up. She is running out of gas, is the challenger. And now High Young drives that knee. In the small of the back, oh my goodness. Well, Barbie looks like she just might be running out of air, oxygen, gas, however you want to say Barbie it. Barbie Hayden looks like she's gonna need a chiropractor if this doesn't stop. Right, you are. Either a chiropractor or a good lawyer. Well, I know one for that. You got to call Walker, Texas lawyer. 
Boot to the face right there. Oh. With Hayyan, rolling through, wait a minute. Oh, well, Hayyan trying to telegraph it. Barbie Hayden responds. On knee of her own to the face of the champion. And perhaps the tables have oh. turned here. Irish whip, reversal again from the challenger. Trying to mount some kind of a comeback here. Oh! That frustration getting the better of the champion. Oh. Barbie Hayden, knee in the corner. A remarkable turn of events here from the challenger who looked like she was out of it just moments ago. Head scissor takeover. Barbie Hayden. Fisherman suplex. Did she hold up for the pin? Cover, one, two, oh! A kick out from the champion at the last moment. Hi Young looks seriously hurt here. Hooks the leg again and another kick out. We have got a battle on our hands here, folks. One for the ages for the Diamonds title. Oh. What would it mean for Barbie Hayden to finally... Oh, wait a minute. Hi Young. Matt Topolsky, not out of, I don't even think it was out of instinct or muscle memory, it was out of pure exhaustion. She falls down right as Barbie Hayden's charging into the turnbuckle, and both these women are out of it. I mean, it looks like, it looks like a war zone in there, Brad. These two have beaten the hell out of each other for this Diamond Division Championship. Ah Young back to her feet somehow, some way. Trying to jump on the challenger here. One, Quick pin attempt. Two. This is a smart move on the part of the champion, but a kick out from Barbie Hayden once again. High on, look, Matt Topolsky, that's what I'm talking about. She's letting that frustration get into her. She's aggravated. She wants to put Barbie Hayden away, but she just can't seem to do it. She cannot allow herself to go to this place. This has cost her matches in the past. And look, Barbie Hayden now going for an R bar. Oh, Barbie Hayden right there trying to channel a little Rex Andrews, perhaps. R bar, center of the ring to win the Diamond Division Championship. Hai Young is a long way away from those ropes. Looks like Hai Young's about to tap. I think we're about to crown a new champion. Either a new champion or Hai Young's gonna have to go to the hospital. That arm has to be separated. The tendons of the shoulder went. Oh, roll up here, roll up here from Hai Young. And Barbie Hayden had to break the hold that almost took her to the promised land in order for this match to continue. Uh -oh. Oh, Barbie Hayden here, this is a signature of hers, that top rope DDT. Wait a minute. Reversal from Hai Young. <laughs> Gonna go for that DDT again, Hai Young with that big forearm to the face. Oh, look at this! Oh! She it's eyes it, she buys it, and she tries it! Cover here to retain the Diamonds title! Hi Young is the winner! Houston, Texas, she is the Diamonds Division Champion! Hi Young! Hi Young says this is her house! This is her Diamonds title, this is her division, but can Jordan Grace end all that here tonight? What a matchup for the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship right now on Title Match Network. And here we go, Matt. The title is on the line. Hyun, who has worked so long to win that championship, is not going to give it up without a fight. You know, one of the things that Hyun is definitely facing here tonight 
is the prospect of having to defend that title against two extremely worthy opponents and adversaries just over the course of a seven day period of time. And when you were Diamond's division champion, not once, but twi twice, Ivory, uh -oh. you both defended that title all over Texas. What is it like to be in that position where you're constantly having to look over your shoulder and battle to keep that title around your waist week in and week out? I felt honor in it, to be quite honest. Like, as soon as I won it, I knew that I wanted to be a fighting champion. I wanted to prove to everyone. I wanted to prove to everyone that it belonged to me, and I was worthy of keeping it. I was not one of those fly-by-night champions, but I busted my butt to hold on to that and to keep fighting against the best. Well, Hyun, I think, making a, a mistake, going for a test of strength against Jordan Grace without a shadow of a doubt. The strongest competitor, Hyun's on against Matt Topolsky. Absolutely. Perhaps the strongest competitor any Diamonds champion has ever faced. I mean, Ivory, you've defended that title multiple times. Have you ever seen a female athlete the likes of Thick Mama Pump? I have not, and I will say she, she is a pure, genuine athlete. Did you hear how much they said she squats, how much she bench presses? I don't know too many females that can do that. <laughs> well, personally, I have trouble getting out of my own car in the morning, so I think it's <laughs> extremely impressive to me. Oh, look at that. But to have size on you, to have that. Roll up oh, here. Whoa. Oh, High Young rolls through. Yeah. Oh! Like and a High train. Young. Looks like she just got hit by a Metro bus. Yeah, yeah High Young's not, she's not just going against any old. Here cover, here, cover, cover here, challenger. All she over High Young here, high intensity. And here's the thing, Matt Topolsky, High Young has not made one cover, has not made one pin attempt at all. It's been all Jordan Grace since the early going. She has to. She definitely has to because, like I was saying, Jordan is not just any old oh, average man. one of the male female workers. She is one of the best workers in the country, if not the world. She is the best when it comes to working with men and women. She is known for breaking down barriers, so Hyun has her hands full tonight. Oh, the intensity of those Irish whips. And you hear Hyun writhing in pain as her spine is being rearranged by the challenger. It's one thing when you're in there with a normal female athlete and they throw you into the turnbuckle, it's not going to feel good, but when Thick Mama Pump does it, it feels a whole lot worse. Oh, no. Hyung blocking that suplex attempt right there, forcing Jordan Grace back into the buckle. Third time, will it be the charm? She breaks the hold. The champion may very well have bitten off more than she can chew here tonight, especially after that hard-fought title defense at Summer of Champions just seven days ago. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Up top. Oh, no. Well, she better hold on. And here we go. Oh, hi Young with a missile drop kick from the top, sacrificing her body to inflict some offense here. Goes for the pin. Almost looking like she's more annoyed than anything is Jordan Grace right now. And Hai Young put her entire body into that missile drop kick. And if you haven't seen it yet, we certainly invite you to check out the replay of Summer of Champions 5 right now on Fight TV. In which Hai Young successfully defended that championship against AQA, almost broke her arm in the match. Pin attempt here, kick out at one. You're right, Matt Topolsky. And speaking of Fight TV, Jordan Grace is going to be competing in a big event in Chicago on September the 1st. And she would love to go into that event. Diamonds Division Champion. I want to thank everyone for joining us on Title Match Network here tonight. And if you are watching on your free trial, we certainly invite you to check out the other features and content as well on Title Match Network after our show here tonight. Some incredible original programming and much more. 
Also, check out Title Match Wrestling on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Went for that Irish whip right there, but the champion held on. Oh! A knee to the upper shoulder there of Jordan Grace. You see Jordan Grace clutching onto that shoulder. I think Jordan Grace is a little surprised, a little taken aback, if you will, at, at the intensity and the physicality of High Young Ivory. Exactly. Jordan probably unfortunately thought she could just come in here and just was going to uh -oh. up and win it because High Young just competed last week. But no, High Young's no. surprising her. Oh, no. Look out here. Oh! oh! High Young face first on the ring apron, and that is wood and steel that her grill just collided with. She might need to go see Paul Wall and TV Johnny after that one, Matt Topolsky. <laughs> oh, oh, face first! Wait a minute, her shoulder first, excuse me. Back to that shoulder. Of course, Jordan Grace would like to get this match back inside. Title can't switch hands on a count out or a disqualification. Well, I'll tell oh. you what, that's one way to disrupt the bench press and squat right there. Take one arm out of the equation and that's exactly what the methodical and cerebral Diamonds Division champion oh. is doing right now. Well, you gotta thank from all that bench pressing, all that weight lifting from Jordan Grace, those muscles already might be a little bit- To retain oh. the title, to retain the title, kick out at two. Might already have a little weakness to him. You know, you can't lift all that weight without repercussions. You might build strength, but you could tear at your labrum slowly but surely, and High Young might be exposing that right now. It might very well be possible, but at the same time, these are two battle-tested, battle-ready athletes. Ha Young defending that Diamonds Championship just a week ago, live at Summer of Champions. Now here she is again against Jordan Grace. Oh, oh. my! Oh, man. To the upper left thigh there. And running European uppercut into a stunner off the tree of woe. My goodness! Gonna pull to the center of the ring, looking for a cover here. Here Matt. it is to retain the Diamonds title. Kick out! A kick out! The match continues, but the damage has certainly been done here on Jordan Grace. Drop kick to the temple. Her breaking down that arm, high on breaking down that arm is definitely going to be her best friend tonight if she wants to retain that championship because Jordan Grace is not in, like she's she's not an easy foe. Oh! Ooh. But Jordan Grace powered out of whatever High Young had on the menu and reversed that into a spine buster that would make Arn Anderson proud. But she goes right back to clutching onto that shoulder. Be very difficult to put High Young in any kind of recliner, which we know we like to see Jordan Grace use. That Steiner recliner. Well, up to a count of seven here. Someone's gonna have to get back to their feet. Well, High Young getting back to her feet, so is Jordan Grace. Oh, scoop slam with authority, bad shoulder and all. Adrenaline bringing High Young back to her feet, Jordan Grace. Scoop slam in stereo here. And a third oh. one. Looking for that hat trick. Hi Young doing everything she can to defy gravity here tonight. Using her body like a human javelin to get the better of the challenger. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Shoulder Ooh. first. Oh my goodness. That could dislocate a shoulder. That Jordan oh. Grace double knees. Oh! My goodness, High Young may be down for the count here. Wait a minute. Big Mama Pump springs up. Oh. Air bomb. Jordan Bomb. Jordan Mama Bomb. Two. two. And she oh got it. my goodness, two. And 99% right there. I thought we wow. had a new Diamonds champion. Wow. Ivory. How could she kick out of that? Passion. Passion. Like I said before, she waited so long to get this championship. She's not going to lose it. She's not going to lose it. Well, that may very well be your opinion, but right now things are not looking good for High Young as Jordan Grace kicking up the intensity and the tempo here. And now into that bear hug. 
Oh, the champion. Reversal here. Oh, it's shoulder first into the center turnbuckle. And Hai Young, look at this. Oh. Face plants the challenger. Can she retain? Slam, slam. Hooks both legs. Another kick out. And this epic encounter just goes on and on and on. Well, that was a move that has put down many before. Hyun has to be thinking, what does she have to do to get Jordan Grace to give up? Well, Hyun right now trying to contort that wrist and that shoulder. Look at this. Oh, we saw this last week against AQA at Summer of Champions. We thought for sure that her arm had been broken. And Hai Young trying to do it again here. Oh! oh! And look at the face of Hai Young. She's real proud, Matt Topolsky. She's willing to do whatever it takes to walk out champion. Jordan Grace may walk out of here tonight with both arms in a cast. If Hai Young has anything to say about it, Oh! Incredible power and strength from the challenger despite everything thrown at her here tonight. And now look at this, Jordan Grace looking for a pump handle. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Look at those clubs. Shaking her up. Go for that pump. Oh! oh. Inverted a pump handle out. sit out! Oh! A kick out! Well now, look at the face of Jordan Grace. Putting it all on the line here tonight at Ladies Night Out 3, the All Women's Invitational live on Title Match Network. The best female professional wrestling in the world. Live and in your living room right now. Hi Young ducks underneath. Trying to retire the challenger once and for all. Oh, and right back to that shoulder. Hi Young, wait a minute, she's looking for a disarmor. Does she have it locked in, Matt? Well, it works a little and bit differently oh. here. No, it does not. The following is a no disqualification match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, to my right, from Houston, Texas, Kai Yon! And her opponent, from off the grid, she is the bloody undead bride, Sue Young! This matchup has a big fight feel. There's no question about it. The look of intensity on the face of Hai Young and of course the demented nature of Sue Young. You never know what you're going to get out of that care package. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I mean, don't you love professional wrestling? Well, I mean, I here we have a zombie, okay, taking on a former Diamonds Division champion. We I, already know they're going to beat the living hell out of each other. You said living. That was your first mistake. Excuse me. <laughs> beat the unliving hell out of each other. Well, Hai Young telling Sue Young she's not afraid of you. Famous last words. Reminds me of Kevin McAllister going down to his garage. Wow. She's a not home, afraid a home alone reference. It is the season. <laughs> yes, it is. This is definitely a highly anticipated match and a lot of... Oh. Oh, wow. Hold on here. A lot of reality arresting members of the roster sitting at ringside, including the former tag team champions, Zach and Warren. Also, Connor Holloman, who's right now injured after his match with Brennan Steen. They're here to watch the action. And the action has started. I don't even know. How, how do you prepare oh. for someone like Sue Young, Barbie? You run away. That's how you prepare for it. So, a lot of cardio before the a match. There you go. Yeah. A lot of cardio, a lot okay. of garlic, oh, wait. maybe. Here we go. Garlic, yes. 
Wait a minute. Now Hyun, you talked oh. about running away. I think she just took your strategy. Well, this, <laughs> this matchup is headed into the crowd here. Oh, my goodness. They're in front of the crowd at the World Gym Arena as security starts to follow them. This is already off to an insane start as we try to get a cameraman over there. Well, we have some extra cameras over there. We're going to have to check it out on the director's cut. Wait a minute, get out of the oh, way. Oh, oh, good God. Oh, my God. Sue Young, once again, I'm getting out of here. I know. Barbie. We, we, I'm telling you, I, it's Does bad anyone have an extra crucifix I can borrow? And maybe some lead bullets or silver bullets. Here cover we go. Cover here. One, two. Well, one, one and three quarters there, almost a two count. And here's going back to Hyam being the athlete's athlete. She is willing to stay in this match, knowing it's no DQ, no. knowing it's already gone outside of the ring, and she's willing to kick out and stay in this. Yeah, you know what, Barbie? I think a smart strategy would be survive here. Wait, hold on. Hyam getting fired up, though. She's a former champion. She doesn't have to be afraid in oh. the situation. Well, Sue Young back to the outside here, and now Hyam following her. Well, I'm going to remind everybody at home once again, especially oh. those who are joining us, the official is not counting because there are no rules. There is no disqualification. Now, who called for this? Who, who was like, this, this would be a great idea? This was Sue Young's demand uh, and Hai Young to her detriment, but of course, who has a lot of pride, a lot of intestinal uh -oh. fortitude, on. accepted this challenge. Oh, and Sue Young spine first into that steel support beam here at the World Gym Arena. And a continually ramming her into it. Well, wait a minute, Sue Young. Oh, oh takes a knee right to the my. face. Knee to the face, the back of her head rings off that support pole. It's all steel. Steel and bone colliding. It looks like a damn car wreck out here. Well, hi, Young. She's going to have to tap very deep inside of herself and find a demented, a dark place to oh, go to. Oh, wait a second. Well, there it is, folks. Somebody left a chair under the ring. Fantastic. Oh! Oh, oh my lord! High Throwing risk. it right to the face! High end took that high risk with no reward. If Sue Young's head starts spinning, or if she starts walking upside down on the ceiling, I'm out of here. I was going to say, I'm, I'm surprised she's not bleeding from hitting her head on that post. I mean, really, can we tell at this point? But... Oh, wait a minute, oh. though. Sitting High Young in that chair and now trying to strangle her with her knee. Innovative offense. By the undead bride. Oh, no, what's happening here? Well, if I were High Young, I'd get the hell out of there. And as soon as possible, she's not exactly pulling up in a beach chair here, enjoying the sound of the waves crashing. Oh, man, here we go. She is in this real danger here. So oh, Young, oh, my goodness. With a senton off the apron, Hai Young gets ejected off that steel chair. The referee checking on both of these women, making sure they're okay. These women had a signed hold harmless agreements before entering this match. And now just a shriek, a battle cry, if you will, from Sue Young. I feel like she's channeling some inner demons or something. I feel like that is that is what's happening here because there's there's just no way that these girls can take these beatings like this and just get up like like Sue Young has. I think Sue Young is everyone's inner demon. That's I think yeah. she is the personification of inner demons. This is what happens when you play with a Ouija board too much, mm. okay? You become the Ouija board. Absolutely. Well, Hai Young is looking for Sue Young. She has no idea where she went because, of course, she just disappeared. And see, this is where Sue is so dangerous because, you, like I said earlier, you have no idea Hi where Yun. she's going to come from. Wait a from. minute. Wait a minute. Where? Wait. wait. Where is Sue Oh, wait a minute, Sue Young came out of nowhere! She came out of nowhere with that steel chair in her hand! Wait, Hai Young, once again, implementing the strategy of Barbie Hayden. Wait, wait Hai Young! Connor Holloman. Connor Holloman just got both of his crutches taken from him. 
Wait, and I think they're going to brawl right behind well, us Wait here. a second here, folks. And it's a standoff here at the World Gym Arena. Both women wielding a crutch Well, if Highlander was going to happen at the World Gym Arena at Ladies Night Out with oh. crutches, it's happening right now. Oh. Except it's not the clan of a cloud. Oh. It's Sue Young and High Young. And there can be only one. Well, both women. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh no. Oh! Oh my god. To the spot of high up. To the spot of Sue Young by high on. No, no, no! Oh. Come on! Oh my goodness! Oh. Hi Young rearranging the vertebrae of the undead bride. And now telling the crowd to get out of the way. Security trying to get a hold of the situation. Security? We're gonna need a SWAT team out here to break this up. Both these women brawling in the middle of the crowd. Pinfalls, of course. And I gotta say, Barbie, part, part, part of me thinks that Sue Young is actually enjoying this. She probably is. I feel like oh. there's... Oh. Oh, man. I was going to say, any life that is left in Sue Young is probably being beaten out of her right now, and I'm sure she's loving every second of it. Well, Hai Yun throwing Sue Young once again spine first, it looked like. I mean, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to give Ghost any ideas here, Brad Gilmore, but she'd make a fine addition to Legion. <laughs> she definitely would. But that means we'd have to be... Exposed to this and kind wait of a second now, look at basis. this. Ha Young has a piece of metal trussing from the stage in her hand. That is a piece of staging, and what is she doing? I think she, I think she just put Sue Young's arm through that. As we try to get a camera out there. Oh, oh! She did! She just slammed a steel chair. Oh, no, 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 not and again. He... Not again, come on! Oh! Well, make sure you watch this replay on the Title Match Wrestling Network. You're going to see different angles of every match. And as these women get back ringside. You know, you're talking about watching this back on the Title Match Network, but this does prove why you should be here live. Be at Ladies Night Out and be in the crowd and see this firsthand because there are some things that people are seeing and experiencing and being a part of the match that you can't get when you're sitting at home. Absolutely. No Wait a minute. And, and uh, Hi, I mean, this is, this is crazy. They're all that steel staging now. I mean, I know this is my job, but words escape me at the moment. Just witnessing what, what what we're looking at live here. Oh no! Absolutely, it's like you're Hi afraid of them. Hyun's gonna suplex Su Young onto that steel staging, but now a reversal met. No, 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 no! Oh, Hyun almost falling off the side of that stage. Oh wow! <laughs> a seesaw battle between both these women. Now a reversal whip here, going the other direction. Oh no, no! She's got her. Waist lock from behind. Reversal here from High Young. Don't Go do it. Don't suplex. do it. Suplex. Going for a suplex on that staging. Sue Young. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No. Northern Lights. Oh, my goodness. Sue Young. Oh. And a DDT right on the metal steel plating. Did you hear Hyan's head hit the ground? Oh, my God. And both these women laid out on the top of the stage, Matt. Is there anything left from either of this these awesome. two at this point? I think both women have torn each other apart. I think the referee, Isaac Bullion, might should just call this match right here and now so they do not harm each other anymore. These are the kind of matches that takes not days, not months, but years off of your career. If Isaac Bullion calls this matchup right now off, Sue Young is going to turn him into dog food, okay? Well, even more incentive for him to do so then. Just high on rolling down that staging. 
I mean, literally every inch of these girls' bodies is going to hurt after this. I mean, maybe Sue Young doesn't have feelings, but I know for high end, she is going to be feeling oh, this man. for the rest of the weekend, the rest of the week, probably until the next ladies' night out. Absolutely, and I'm not even sure High Young knows Young who she is. Sue Young can attempt here. Two. Oh, wow. How did High Young kick out? That was just, I, I. She was spiked with a DDT on the top of the stage. You know, really, in Hyan's defense, I think the only thing that is keeping her from, like, from being pinned here is that this isn't a false count anywhere match. If it had been, I really think that Sue Young would have gotten that win on the top of the stage. Well, now, a steel chair once again making its presence felt inside the squared circle. And what else? Another one to match it. It's twin brother. Are we even sure that Sue Young didn't, didn't prepare this? Maybe she snuck these underneath here before the entire show started. I feel like she's so aware a, of where these weapons are. And a third. I mean, hell, she very well could have been setting the ring up earlier. We oh don't my. know. Hold on now. And a and fourth. So, well, Sue Young is just tossing these chairs in the ring like lawn darts. Oh. Get out of the way, oh Isaac God. Bullion. She is like she's playing darts, and Hyen is the board, and she is targeting her, and she's hitting her with every single chair. This is a definitely an intense game of bocce ball. No, no, no. look out, look oh, out, no. another one. Hyen cannot know where she is right now. Come on, come oh, on! Oh! It's like she's just toying with her. So Young doesn't even care. She's just toying with her. Oh! There's got to be a half dozen or more chairs in that ring right now. Well, Sue Young, Young playing a, a game of demonic Jenga in there with these steel chairs. You know, what is she doing now? Oh, my Lord. Matt Topolsky, she's got a ladder. Why not? I mean, why not at this point? These two women emptied out the local Home Depot. I mean, As the undead cover here, goes for a one, cover. Two. Oh. And a kick out. Hell, at this point, Tim Allen should be refereeing the match. The undead bride, Sue Young, just decorated the ring with a potpourri of different weapons. And now she's trying to wedge that steel chair in the corner. Didn't work out well for her, though. And now she seems frustrated, Matt. I don't think I want to see her frustrated. If this is not her frustrated, I do not want to see what that level is. Well, I don't know what she's thinking about doing here. Well, I don't know if she is thinking, honestly. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of strategy when it comes to Sue Young. I think it, it, it's the chaos theory. It's Dr. Ian Malcolm's, you know, vision. Reversal here from High Young trying to get some sort of desperation oh. offense in. Oh! Wait a minute. Su Young caught the chair. Oh! oh! And High Young drop kicks the chair into Su Young. High Young looking to charge. Oh! 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 And a stutter! From the middle rope, High Young, looking to finish off the undead bride. Oh. No. Whoa, whoa. Was that? That was two. That whoa. was two and a half. The first signs of life from High Young since she was spiked with a DDT on the top of that stage. To recap, these two have tried to rearrange each other's vertebrae with Connor Holloman's crutches. They have fought in every section of this arena here tonight, and now they stand toe-to-toe -to -toe once again with steel chairs inside that ring. It's no disqualification, and it looks like Clockwork Orange. Oh! Now both these women, I think it's just a fight, Matt Topolsky. This is not a wrestling match. The referee might as well go to the back. This is a fight to the finish. So one of these women can no longer stand up. And the World Gym Arena sitting, not even believing what they have seen thus far. I think that they've literally taken the wind out of this room because everybody is watching in awe, silence, and probably a little bit of fear. I think there's a point. lot of fear in the room. There's a lot of fear in the room. Oh! 
look at her. She's holding high on upper body up by her hair. Well, that is what you call a tree of Sue Young right there. God, heaven. What have we seen here? I feel like this is the last position I would want to be in. It's so oh. vulnerable. You see, she has full control over high end. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! A reverse stunner off that second rope. A jarring reverse neck breaker. My goodness. That is akin to being in a car crash. That is exactly the kind of whiplash high on just experienced. Well, and we got to go back again and talk about the fact that she was spiked with a DDT on the top of that stage minutes ago. Now suffers that injury. I'm surprised Ha Young can even try and pull herself up right now. Does she have any feeling in her arms? Oh, and now Sue Young. Oh! And here comes, oh! God in heaven. Hi, Shades on. of Texas wrestling legend Terry Funk right here. And I think that Hyun is trying to get that ladder from Sue Young, and she just keeps hitting her with it. Yeah, maybe a smart strategy would be to get out of that ring and run for the hills. Oh! Oh! She was out of it, she's back in it now. Definitely. As high on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! And a massive sidewalk slam That's into a gotta pin. be it. Cover two. Oh! High Young has never been brutalized like this in her career. This is perhaps the biggest, not perhaps, this is the biggest test that she's ever had. And I think we're seeing a new side of High Young tonight. I mean, all. Can she battle back from all the adversity? I, I got to tell you, I mean, this is more than just a test. With all respect to High Young. She's being brutalized here. Oh! oh! But somehow, somehow she's able to power back. And see, there's that, there's Cover. that former champion in her. One, two, oh. no! Another near fall! Hai Yun now has to put herself in Su Yun's shoes. She has to think like the undead bride. And wait a wait a minute. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Oh, Matt. come on, please. There's some oh. furniture here. <laughs> they're moving in. That's what this, that's what's happening here. Isn't I don't think they're trying in. to decorate their foyer. And I think this has officially gone way too far here. Oh, now it's gone officially way too far. Well, yeah, so the crutches were okay. The ladder was okay. The yeah. chairs were okay. The steel ramp was okay. But heaven forbid, we have this table in the ring. I don't know what is going to happen here. Hi Young. I mean, oh. I don't know why. She got back into the ring knowing Sue Young had taken possession of that table. This is crazy, folks. I mean, this, come on. Enough is enough here. This poor referee, you have to imagine what's going on through his head because it's just pure chaos happening in the ring. There's nothing he can do about it. And now, the undead bride, Sue Young, has that table set up. And one can only imagine what she is thinking of doing with it. Well, she's thinking of driving Hai Young through it. That's exactly what she's thinking of doing. Facts. I mean, she's demented. She's deranged. Oh, wait a minute, though. She's dangerous. She should be institutionalized, oh. quite frankly. Sue Young's award here tonight, win, lose, or draw, should be a straight jacket. Good God. Wait, now it looked like Sue Young was going for a superplex of sorts. Oh. That palm strike there from Sue Young, but she didn't get all of it. Oh, 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 she got all of that. Oh. Miss to the eyes. Miss to the eyes of Ayan. Oh, God, you know that comes from deep within. That is so gross, so vile. I cannot even imagine having that sprayed all over my face. Poor Ayan. Ayan now is blinded from Sue Young. And wait a minute, she slips through. Oh, look at she this. She slips through. Ayan slips through. She's right and blind. It's oh. just Patting Roxy on the head.
championship on the line. This would be a big opportunity for Roxy to capture gold here at the Reality of Wrestling. When you talk about opportunities, we have seen the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship change hands on more than one occasion, courtesy of a debuting challenger. Absolutely. Will we see that happen again here tonight live? Yeah, absolutely. If you know your reality wrestling history, you can go back to many superstars, including All Elite Wrestling's newest signee, Kylie Ray, who won the Diamonds Division Championship in her very first match against Ivory Robin. Oh, man. High on, though. No respect for Roxy. You know, this is an interesting strategy from Hai Young here tonight because coming out here, I said, you know, she wasn't interested in, in, in style points, but I've never seen her be more uh, verbose, if you will, more animated, and uh, try, uh, I'm assuming trying to get inside the head of her opponent, but her opponent just curtsied in the middle of the ring. She definitely did just curtsy Matt Topolsky, and Hai Young, though, you know, she, I would never have really said that she would be a cerebral wrestler inside the squared circle, but she definitely, I think, is trying out a new a new uh, strategy here tonight against Roxy, and I think it's because she's not taking Roxy seriously. Well, that will be the first mistake that Hai Young will make in this matchup. Ducks underneath, reversal. Series reversals, high young underneath. Cartwheel right there from the challenger. A little catch can, if you will, hooks the leg here. Oh man, I gotta tell you something, Brad Gilmore. High young better start taking this matchup just a little bit more seriously, or we're gonna see that title change hands live here on Title Match Network. Yeah, you're right, Matt Sapolsky. Anything can happen, but I think High Young is still feeling out Roxy. She's a veteran, she knows what she's doing inside. Oh, look at that. She knows what she's doing inside the ring. She's not going to let Roxy get too much offense on her without firing back. Look at the strength right there, but Roxy able to turn the tables. Reversal here. What is going on? Look at the power from High Young. Picking up Roxy, oh. dead weight, turnbuckle bomb into the corner. And the back of her head just smacked off that middle turnbuckle. The matchup could be over here right now. Well, there's that the beat. champion in the center of the ring cover. Roxy somehow kicks out Brad Gilmore, but that looked very dangerous. Hey, you're right, Matt Sapolsky. Roxy holding on to the back of her neck. Hope she didn't injure it too bad. Looks like she's going to be able to fight through it for the rest of the match, but she's definitely on dream streak, man. That is a devastating maneuver. And we, we have seen people, we have seen legends like Sting, for example, who had his career ended because of that maneuver. Some would argue it should be banned from professional wrestling. Hai Young doesn't give a damn, however. Whatever it takes to successfully defend her Diamonds Division Championship. And what started out as a little gloating, maybe a little gamesmanship early on, has now taken a serious turn here. Hai Young rolls through, holds on. So does Roxy, and Roxy can do a roll up. Oh, not able to get all the way over. Oh. An attempt here, hooks the leg. Hai Young kicks out at two. Hai Young clinching the bottom of her jaw from that kick from Roxy. You know, Roxy known for her various suplexes and neck breakers. She used them quite often. Well, that could be taken out of her move set, if you will. Uh -oh. That could be dropped on the back of her head, and now Hai Young. A knee! Oh! Right to the temple. That's got to be all to successfully defend the championship kick out at two and a half. Well, between that dead weight power bomb into the turnbuckle and that big knee. You would have thought that would have put it the lights out for Roxy. But still fighting back. I think Hai Young's going to have to do something special. She's going to put Roxy away here this evening. Yeah. Oh. Body avalanche in the corner there from the champion. Once again, Hai Young just trying to impose her will now on the challenger. 
You are looking live at Title Match Network's Ladies' Night Out 5. The Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Championship up for grabs here. She was looking for that stunner from the second rope. We've seen High Young execute that before. Roxy already struggling with perhaps a neck injury. But she's fighting back here. That adrenaline may be kicking in, Brad. It is Mazzapulci. She's feeling it right now. And here comes a big tilt the world. Head scissors. Oh, Wait, head hold scissors on. in a Russian leg sweep. Perfectly executed to win the Diamonds Championship. Oh, my. Two and three quarters. Came very close to it, Mazzapulci. And now Roxy thinking the same thing that I un was. What do I have to do? And if I'm high on right now, I'm going to utilize this moment of, of rest to try to recuperate, regain my sense of awareness after that big flurry from Roxy. Oh, and there's one of those neck breakers I was talking about, and she hangs on. Oh, reversal from the champion. Oh, wow. Just kind of powers her down right there. Two. Oh my goodness, Brad. That, that looked like it was three. It was almost there, and that was the most intense shove I've ever seen in my life from Roxy to High Un. Almost got her the championship. High Un definitely worn out during her battle here tonight with Roxy, having to use the ropes to get to a vertical base. I think the champ's in trouble. This matchup is for the Diamonds Championship, and coming up next, the former two-time Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Champion, the Black Diamond Ivory Robin, will be in action against Barbie Hayden. As many of you know, both of these two... Oh, a flying knee! That's got to be all! Cover one, two, three. Oh, oh my! Oh. Somehow, the challenger kicks out. The match continues. No one more stunned than High On. Hyun just rubbed her eyes to make sure this was not a dream. And now arguing with the referee, Isaac Bouillon. Oh, hold on, champ. Bad oh, strategy. You're back against your challenger here, too. What an effort here from Roxy. Powers down Hyun once again. This is a physical affair between these two for the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds title. And now Ross C. What is she thinking, Matt Topolsky? Gonna go for a little high risk. Roxy headed to the top rope. We've seen her do this against Mickey James and Awesome Kong. Can she hit it here? If she does, she'll be Diamond's champion. No! High on moving at the very last second. Oh, wait a minute. Well, High Un, not exactly known for her high-flying ability, Brad Gilmore. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen it before. The Diamonds champion is up top. What is she doing? No. What is she calling for? High Un! Oh, 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 oh. Fifty! You've got to be kidding me! Cover! Still Diamonds champion! Continue to fly inside the ring, Matt Topolsky, but it really is an illustration of the big fight feel that we have going on between these two women. And it's also an illustration of the respect that this crowd at Ladies Night Out 7 has for both of these athletes. But this tonight is an opportunity for Ha Young to take that next step in her career. She keeps taking steps two and three at a time. And here's an interesting fact that may play into her mentality, her approach to this matchup here tonight. Ha Young is undefeated at Ladies' Night Out. She has that streak to protect, and she's facing, in your words, Ivory, the best to ever do it. Oh! Well, you know, to me, High Yun, in a lot of ways, Matt Polsey, not only does she have that momentum that you spoke about being undefeated here at the Ladies' Night Out series, but also, 
she's in her home court. And we talk about this all the time in professional sports. Home field advantage, home court advantage, that means a lot to a competitor's psyche, to a competitor's confidence. And then you have Mercedes Martinez, who's never stepped foot in this building before, or she has maybe maybe once prior, but she's not familiar with her surroundings, not as familiar as Heidi. I would challenge that and say that Mercedes Martinez has been around for so long that I don't think she gives a damn where she has to fight. However, with Hai Young. I agree. She has gone away for a while. She has spent over four months in Japan honing her craft, and when she came back, she had a different look in her eye, a different approach. And so I would say that in some instances, home field advantage plays a big part, but in this matchup in particular, I think Hai Young is trying to prove something, not just to the fans at home that are watching here tonight, but to Mercedes, that now I am the best. Now I am the measuring stick. And that may factor into whether or not she takes a few more high risks than she should in this matchup, Ivory. Yes, I actually agree with what both y'all are saying. It doesn't even matter. Like, they could be in someone's backyard, and Mercedes will still bring her all. She is a history maker. Did y'all know that? 75-minute match. Never been done by any other woman in this sport. So she has that adrenaline, and she has that energy to keep going. So Hyon is definitely going to have to bring what she learned from Japan. Well, look at that, though. And in some respects, Hyun got that opportunity to go to Japan in the first place after hitting that 450, an impressive 450 at Ladies Night Out 5, and now she's looking for another moment here. But a kick out at one. And fun fact here about Mercedes Martinez and her reach on title match. Our matchup with Thunder Rosa at Queens of the Ring did over a million views in 48 hours. Wow. Incredible. She is just changing the game, even 19 years into it. She continues to raise the bar. Oh, man. Make no mistake about it. Martinez can out-wrestle just about anyone cover here, too, but she is also sadistic inside that squared circle. Well, I think that's why you can speak to her longevity in the game. Uh, you know, when you're willing to do a, the extra, when you're doing, Linda, willing to do a little bit extra to make sure you win that match, you know, you're going to definitely get confidence about you, and confidence is key when you're inside the squared circle. Oh, man! Woo. Let me tell you all about those chops, okay? I have taken that chop before from her in a battle royal, and I swear, I'm pretty sure I died and then came back. Oh, man, look at these, oh, wow, look at these kicks right to the ribs and upper chest of high on and then boot to the side of the face, wow. We could turn the clock back about 20 seconds. <laughs> that was a knife edge chop that was a straight up knee buckler. And Hyon has been on the defensive ever since. And by defense, I mean a screen door on a submarine. She cannot stop the onslaught, the flurry of offense right now from the woman that continues to be the measuring stick, Mercedes Martinez. Oh, man. I think Hyon might need some milk after that last chop. She might need to just get some warm milk and take a nap and get out of the world gym arena. I felt that shot. <laughs> a, a, a nap, this continues, she's gonna need a body cast. Martinez is just taking apart high on right now, and this is the thing, we have seen, Brad, we have had a front row seat. You have, I mean, you've had more than a front row seat, you've been in the ring with high on before. Yes. Ivory, you know how she can impose her will on her opponent, and right now, Martinez is just going to work. And yeah, we're definitely not used to seeing high on in this position, and now she's trying to fire up with some chops of her own. Don't seem to have the same effect that Mercedes do. But now Ha Young's trying to get a flurry of offense in. Oh, wait, poke to the eye. Well, that's what I was talking about, willing to do whatever it takes to make sure you get a victory. Oh! And look at that, Martinez had to unfold Hyung's legs just to hook them for the pin. As Hyung has collapsed into a, a jello mold here in front of our very eyes. Martinez not wasting any time. She is beating the ever-loving hell out of Hyung. That's one way to describe it. There's a few <laughs> other ways that I could describe it, but not on broadcast. Oh! 
Now Hyun trying to get back into it and a backstabber, Matt. That could be the opening she needs. If she can capitalize. Nice desperation reversal. Schoolgirl here from High Young folds her up like an accordion, and now she turns it around here, looking for a Boston Crab. And she's and got High it. Young hooks Mercedes Martinez close to the center of the ring. You talk about a reversal of fortunes. This could be a pivotal moment for the Renaissance woman. And look how far down High Young is sitting and squatting on that. In that Boston Crab, really putting the pressure on the low back of Mercedes Martinez. And Mercedes is so close to the ropes, but she still can't grab him because of the agony that her back is going through. Ivory, how impressive is this? After Ha Young faced a cavalcade of offense to fight back and somehow stay oh. in this matchup. Ooh. She did the right thing because she knows that it, she has to do whatever. Because right now, she's, she's getting beat down by... Oh, oh. my goodness. She's getting beat down pretty bad. Oh my lord, that's gotta be it. Rolls her over, one, two, count to 100, no! Hyun wiggles out. And she's gonna need a mirror to see what's left of her face after that. A devastating stomp. Courtesy of Mercedes Martinez, who has not pulled any punches in this matchup. Yeah, Hyun knows and she understands coming into this match, in order for her to be the best, she has to beat the best. And right now, Mercedes Martinez is the best. She got her in the STF position, though, man. I mean, Brad, what we oh are witnessing Lord. here is in many respects reminiscent to the old dungeon in Calgary. I mean, this is just... Martinez is just stretching high on right now and trying to force her into an inevitable submission. You're right, it's like I'm listening to one of those recordings when I hear Hyun scream out in agony. It's like one of those recordings of Stu Hart in the dungeon, exactly what I was thinking too. Mercedes in a very unique submission maneuver, but just gives it up. I'm, I'm wondering why she gave it up right there, Matt Topolsky. Maybe she was trying to find better position and saw Hyun was gonna get out of it anyway. I mean, Ivory, do you, think that, do you think that part of this may be the fact that Mercedes is just trying to Break Hai Young in, trying to test her, trying to teach her a lesson? She is, because apparently Hai Young was going around saying that she's the best that ever came through Ladies Night Out. She's undefeated, so Mercedes was like, okay, we'll see about that. Roll up here from Hai Young, no! Uses that pin attempt as an offensive reversal. Martinez hits the back of her head on that bottom turnbuckle. And it gives Ha Young enough time just to try and collect herself. My goodness, she looks and like she in a, a terrible amount of pain, Brad. She does. She's clutching almost every part of her body. Everything is hurting right now. She's trying to fly those knees into the ribs and the chest. And now she's fired up, Matt. She's fired up. And a bow and a big knee. A big knee to the left temple of Mercedes Martinez. Ayong digging down deep, wow. channeling every hateful thought in her body to try and fight back here against Martinez, who has broken Ayong in. She's trying to break her down, but what may be happening is she may be rebuilding the Renaissance woman into an even more dangerous competitor here now. And for the first time, this matchup spills to the outside. Ayun rolling Mercedes Martinez back in the ring. I think that's smart strategy, Matt. She was getting the offensive advantage in her on her there just a few moments ago. Martinez head of steam. Ayun ducks underneath. Oh wow! That is a spine buster. That's it. Full drop One, like an accordion. Two, throw. Wow. Impressive, double A style. Spine buster, but it can't keep the Renaissance woman down. The crowd is loving this. Both these women beat down, but Mercedes Martinez standing tall. And I'll tell you what, you see that? Oh! oh! A knee to the face, a knee to the jaw, a knee that is going to require a dentist to reconstruct Ha Young's mouth when this matchup is over. I'd be shocked if her nose isn't broken from that vicious knee. I think her nose is in the back of her head now. Oh! Snap suplex. Martinez, like Velcro, hangs on. 
Well, we are in Texas. High Shit. angle vertical suit play. And this right here, Brad Gilmore, you say Texas, you know who this is an homage to. El, the El Paso legend, Eddie Guerrero. And now High Young getting out of it in a reverse DDT. Cover here from that inverted DDT. High Young, High Young almost punched her ticket. And now is she looking for that cross face? Or... Oh my Lord, look at that. Just the shoulders of Mercedes Martinez tearing back, the ligaments snapping like twigs. The vestiges of war, the battle scars on display here between these two remarkable athletes. No, not athletes, warriors. Martinez was looking for a pin attempt to break it up, barely got her down long enough for a one count. And now Hyun's after her again. She's staying on her. Oh, wait a minute. Swinging X Factor from Hyung. And Matt Topolsky, I think you talked about what she did at Ladies Night Out 5. I think she's got that on her mind right now. That 450. Absolutely. But does she have enough left in the tank? Hyung heading up to the observation deck, and it's not for an Instagram I know, shot. See. I can tell you that right now. Oh. And Martinez puts oh. a stop to it. Veteran instinct. Well, I don't even know if it was a veteran instinct or a desperation attempt just to stop the momentum of high on because she knew, she being Mercedes Martinez, if she gets this 450 on me, it's yeah. finito. Oh no, Matt, what is she thinking? These two perched up in a dangerous position here. We don't sell tickets in the 500 level, but Hai Young is up there right now. In a very precarious position, and Mercedes, after getting shoved off, comes right back to where she was. Martinez. Waist lock oh from my. behind! A German suplex from the top rope! Good heavens! Hyun has not moved. Hai Young folded in half like a cheap suit on Easter Sunday, and this has got to be it right here. Cover for Martinez. An impressive victory at Ladies' oh. Night Out. Somehow, Hai Young just kicked out of one of the most vicious maneuvers I've ever seen here at the World Gym Arena. I don't think Mercedes was expecting someone like Hai Young to just give her a fight, and she is in for a fight tonight. Mar Martinez has that same look on her face that Apollo Creed did in round 14 when Balboa got back up. She can't believe it. What the hell is she gonna have to do to keep Hai Young down? Now she's just picking up what's left of high on, and wait, high on. Inside cradle from the Renaissance oh. woman. Maybe she was playing, I thought she may have been playing possum there for a second. Looking to punt her there. Beauty sleep, looking for that beauty oh. sleep, she got it, she got it. Set the alarm clock for 10 a.m. She's gonna be out for a while. Oh, yeah. High on remains undefeated at ladies night out. And in a moment of brilliance, Somehow, some way, she comes back to retain the streak. Beauty sleep. And she sends a message to everyone in the wrestling world. Hai Young right now is the new measuring stick. Absolutely incredible. After taking what was an in unstoppable, you would think, German suplex off the top rope. Hai Young battles back. Beauty Sleep gets the three count on Mercedes Martinez Ivory. I've never seen anything like it. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is an instant classic. Ivory Robin, your instant reaction to what we've just witnessed. She did it. You really can't say too much more than that. She did it. She went out and she defeated one of the best women's wrestler, best wrestlers, period, in the world. She went out and she did that. So much respect, much props to Hyun.
That's my pick right here. Swole is Team awesome. Swole and high end. And then you've got <laughs> these. Oh god. Look at this meeting of the minds. <laughs> CPA uh, got something to say. Great. Wonderful. Just don't give him a mic. <laughs> All right. Well, you got your wish, Coach Mike. He's not wrestling. Thank God. <laughs> Robbie can't spell either one of those words. How are they going to call themselves a team? Oh, they're going right at it. And high this is being competed in duck rules. What does that mean? That means there's no rules. Oh, oh. cool. All right, well, Big Swole, power advantage over literally everyone. Ugly <laughs> Duckling is probably the X Factor. CPA uh, is there. Let's go. All right. Not only huge and powerful, she is super athletic. Amazing. I, she's so incredible. Everything about Swole is just amazing. How she's unsigned is a mystery. It's not. It's not going to be. It's not going to be much longer. Oh, what a lariat! Early in this match, turning. What she needs to do is stop worrying about these fans out here and start keep kicking some ass. Oh. <laughs> CPA already knows he is out. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh no! Don't do this. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? On his Suburban badass. Sure. Why not? A test of strength. CPA normally used to passing test. Uh, just not in gym class. <laughs> Big Swole taking him down, no problem. It's just not an issue. CPA sneaks out of that test of strength, trips Big Swole, goes for a pin, turns her around. He's got her from behind, trying Look at, to go try, for a German. No, no that's way. not going to happen Big with Swole. Swole's not interested. Yes, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, what drop a kick from drop the kick. You know, me and CPA go back a long time, and the CPI knew he doesn't go off the second rope. This is a whole new guy. Ooh, he's changing himself up. Remember, CPA will die for this. And hopefully today he gets his wish. <laughs> All right, leg sweep from high end, taking CPA down. The Renaissance the woman over. taking control. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful suplex. Nice bridge with a pin attempt, no luck. CPA rolls out. He's trying to fan up CPA. Oh, look at the right. springboard. Yo, Rob is incredible. White acrobatic. Oh, look yeah. at this. But it does not matter with that. No, high end corner. is incredible. Oh, Ooh. Bring that beak right off his face. Got him up on the shoulders. Nope. Breaks three. Off the rope. Oh, oh my big. goodness. Key bone duckplex. <laughs> oh. And a double stop. Oh my god. You swole his bully and Coach Mikey over here. Crowd seems pretty split. Uh, yeah, I mean they love Swole, but they, they love, love the Ducks. ducks. Oh, caught by Swole. I'm not quite sure who's legal right now. To be it's Duck not. rules. Whoever's in the ring is legal. Oh, okay. Great. Hey, you didn't catch that at the beginning? Sure. I don't know Duck rules. I'm unfamiliar with the stipulation. Pure chaos seems fine by me. Let's go. Uh, CPA sneaks back in. Oh! Swole dropped on the apron by Killjoy. Uh, it's like CPA is in the ring by himself. Oh no. Is the fiscally responsible duck gonna fly? No shot. He is winding he up. Just, yeah. Oh, that's uh, CPI knowing he Spineless. Oh. <laughs> Little hop onto Killjoy and accidentally takes him down. I am 
How you like that, Mikey? Good coaching job. Phil Jackson, you're not. Big Big yep, you suck, Mikey. Your fault. Oh my God. Oh, right. oh my. Tobe Kunhilo from Rob Kiljoy takes Big Swole out. Flying duck all orange. <laughs> Taking the Dino. Swole to the ground. Big uh -oh. Swole is. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, They're about to get it. He's ducking up. He's ducking up. He is. Oh. All right. Yep. High end and Kiljoy. In the Whoop his ass, high end. Face off between the two. <laughs> <laughs> if he had any teeth to lose, it would have went flying. Oh, yeah, those are gone. I think that was before the match. Those are gone. <laughs> Ooh. Not sure who's got the striking advantage between these two. Obviously high end. Rob is Jeez. Once again, days of confused was before the match. <laughs> Evenly matched punches in the center of the ring. Ooh. Oh, sickening! Oh, he see. He look at him. He's mad at himself. <laughs> I am oh, oh, what a pump kick! What's this midsection kick? Suplex, suplex. Up and over. Out. Ooh, and now Rob sneaks out. And now another suplex attempt. Oh, there's the dead, the dead suplex. I am back to her feet. Wait a minute. Oh, what a German. Lost him inside out. Well, back to her feet now. She needs to not worry about Mikey. Get in there and worry about the match. All right, we got Swollen CPA about to face off now. Swole needs some guidance. She needs a manager type. Oh. What the? Stunner! Yeah! Oh, what a spear! Now literally everyone is there. <laughs> Great. Cool. Fine. Obviously, advantage now goes to whoever can get to their feet first. So the referee? <laughs> the referee wins. Fun fact about CPA while we have a moment, he's a great lip singer. He's Is he? Up against drag queens. Wow. Well, wait, I, I'm going to regret this. What song? Oh. Uh, Taylor Swift. Oh. Bad Blood. Right. Look at the double oh. team. A beautiful double team broken up. CPA breaking CPA. it up. This familiarity with these guys. You know, CPA is a goof, but he's actually been indispensable. <laughs> you say indispensable, I say disposable. <laughs> oh, he, he caught a, a fist from uh, a fist. Oh, what a knee. He caught a knee from her, too. Yeah. Oh, Scott, hi. Ahmed Johnson like power bomb from CPA. Setting up for a something from Bob Kilgore. Going yeah. to the top, he's up. Oh, oh my goodness! Stop two. Big Swole's guts going for a pin. Broke Just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. And Mikey's gonna have an aneurysm. Smart tag team wrestling from both teams with uh, pins being broke up at, broken up at the last half a second. CPA tosses high end out. CPA deciding what he wants to do now. It's a two on one. Are they going to? No way. They're going to do the launch? There's no way. Hey, coach, not There's a great no idea. Way. No way. Coach Mikey directing traffic from the outside. Perhaps ill advised. There's no way they're going to pull off the launch. There's no way. Big Swole is uh, coughing up a lung in the corner. I'm a little worried about her. <laughs> they're they're trying to teach him how to do this. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of the match! They're waddling him through this. <laughs> oh, does not seem smart. oh my god. Big Swole slowly recovering while these two are. Uh, they're they're black, 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 black. They're taking way too much time now. I think Big Swole might have been unconscious at one point. But I can't is. wait for Swole to catch CPA and break his neck. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, he's, uh, he's, 
No. They're worried about this. Look, they're ducks and he's chicken shit. This isn't gonna work. Look at Coach Mikey. Oh no. What is he doing? Is Coach Mikey gonna try to? What the hell? Big Swell still a little dazed, but uh. This oh point, my God. This is gonna be insane. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh. Oh, oh my God. I don't know about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the most athletic move you're gonna see tonight. <laughs> Coach Mikey might be dead. All right, well, yeah, Big Swole I think was playing possum a little yeah, bit. Big Swole's pissed. He's like, nah. Ooh, a dodge. Here we go! Into the knockout! Knockout punch from Big Swole. Ooh. And yeah. another? Not. Ooh. Oh! A nice face breaker from Haya. Take CPA. That out. is it. There is a reason why Hyun is referred to as the Renaissance woman. It's because she picks a body part and she takes it apart. She is cerebral. She has evolved considerably since the first time that I saw her personally walk into Booker T's World Gym Arena and begin training. Actually, at that time, it was the WXF Gym, not in Texas City, but a few miles up the road. And she said, I wanted to be a professional wrestler, one of the greenest thumbs you'll ever see. And now you look at where she's come from, what she's done, for her tour in Japan. She is a well-oiled machine and a very dangerous performer inside that ring. This matchup is for the Sabotage Championship. It is Amber Nova of NXT and Impact Wrestling against Hyon. Amber Nova made a name for herself competing against the likes of Sue Young and Rosemary at Impact Wrestling. Pulls out the rug right there from High On. And she hits that Nova driver on High On here tonight. Her career will skyrocket. High On stock is definitely on the rise. There's no doubt about that. Looking for an early pin attempt here. In 2017, leading into 2018, Hyon had a series of matches with now AEW star Smiley Kylie Ray at Booker T's Reality of Wrestling, and those matches are a thing of wonder. The rivalry between those two is a thing of wonder. And Hyun learned a lot about herself along the way and truly evolved as a champion, and you can see it now. And speaking of championships, she is also a former two-time Diamonds Division champion at Booker T's Reality of Wrestling, which is definitely a proving ground for future WWE stars. You can make no mistake about it, Amber Nova knows that, and she knows that by beating Hyon here tonight, there will be more promoters all over the world circling her name and trying to bring her in to perform on their stage. Shot to the outside here. And the champion will take a breather. Amber Nova. Oh, suicide dive through the ropes. And there was nothing to break Hyon's fall but that metal guardrail behind her. These are the risks that Amber Nova is going to have to take. And there's the Renaissance woman. Dishing it right back to her. Dropped her on that canvas as hard as a plate of Texas barbecue. Oh, face first into the metal pole. And after High On got hit with that human lawn dart known as her challenger here tonight, it has been a flurry of offense from the champion. What 
velocity there, face first and in the corner. This is part of the Renaissance Woman's bl bl Blueprint right here, excuse me. You can see it coming. Nothing Amber Nova could do about it. Hayan came back from Japan a completely different athlete. Representing Marvelous Pro in Japan for several months. She came back with a whole new playbook. Inside Cradle here from the Challenger. A new Sabotage champion on the way, no. Amarnova appeared on an August 8th episode of NXT in a losing effort against Nikki Cross. She returned the following year on January the 23rd. Kick out here on an episode of NXT, teaming and debuting with her tag team partner. They lost to Carrie Zane and her tag team partner. It's been a seesaw journey for Amber, no Amber Nova here on the independent circuit, trying to get a foothold Move her you? career to the next level. Why don't you go work on my car? It needs an oil change. Captures that sabotage gold here tonight at Queens of the Ring, and it all changes. It all changes. Back elbow here from the Renaissance woman. In awesome. Oh my goodness! That knee right to the temple. Lights out. One. Two, no! Ember Nova slips out the back door like a cat burglar, staying alive in this matchup. You can see the evolution of Hyun. You can see that she's been trained by a two-time WWE Hall of Famer. You can see that she spent nearly half a year in Japan honing her craft, sharpening her, her tools for the ring. Amber Nova is going to have to bring it. Power bomb is reversed there by the challenger. Nova again hanging on. And she uses that tree of woe to her advantage as well. Whatever it takes. Scissors over the top. The challenger trying to charge up here. Single leg drop kick. A second drop kick here from Nova. Springboard. High cross body. There could be a new champion here. No. Ayan looks like she may have been injured there on that cross body, holding her shoulder. Ripping it right now, and the challenger to take full advantage of it. Hyun trying to block that suplex there. Jockeying for position, middle of the ring there. Perfect plex. Center of the ring, no. Actually, more of a northern light suplex, excuse me. Hyun so quick on the draw, it's hard to tell. We have got more action still to come here tonight. We are going to see the controversial Priscilla Kelly taking on the 17-year-old sensation Roxy. And of course, in our main event here tonight, Miranda will defend her Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. The 
Champion looking for a successful defense on the road. No. Kick out. Fighting champion, but that's the price you pay for the life you choose. You're going to have to travel all over the place to represent your respective promotion here. Roll up inside. Oh my goodness, that was almost a three count. Almost a three count. Amber Nova follows up here with a kick and a short arm DDT. Hooks both legs. She's going to capture it. She's going to do it. No, again, another near fall. The Renaissance woman has not looked the same since that high cross body a few minutes ago that almost cost her the Sabotage Championship. The challenger up top now. She's on the 40th floor and she's not taking the elevator down. Oh, look out, referee, look out. Oh, roll up from behind here. The Renaissance woman takes advantage. Can she get her? She got her. She got her. Here is your winner, and still Sabotage World Champion, Hyatt. By hook or by crook, it does not matter. Hyun came, she saw, and she successfully defended the Sabotage Championship.